Hey guys, I know it's been a while. Once again, like I said in my last video, I've been kind of, you know, taking things easy, focusing on myself, focusing on self-growth, yada yada. Yeah, that's all still true, which is why it's been a minute since you've seen or heard from me. I'm kind of the worst. <laughs> Obviously, you guys know this by now, but I figured I would take the opportunity to film today. I did participate in the recent Ulta sale. I bought almost $300 worth of things, but I got 40 things. I did get a little, a lot of lip liners that were like a dollar, but I'm so excited. Why do I have this mirror right here? I don't know why I want to do like an unboxing on camera. I just thought it might be cool to, as I'm unboxing, tell you guys the full price of the item versus the price that I got it at on the sale. My exact total was $274.78 uh, free shipping. Since I picked out like 40 things, I keep like forgetting what I got and I'm just gonna, oh, this is so exciting. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go in any particular order. So I'm just gonna start telling you guys what I know about it and the price that I got it at. So the very first item is the brand Kiss. It's a strip lash adhesive brush on latex free lash glue. I'm giving this a try for my makeup kit uh, because I'm a makeup artist. Not that you can tell. <laughs> I guess I could have at least put like mascara on for this video. I'm just really bumming it today. I'm really excited about this new formula because I've tried the other Kiss lash glue and loved it so much. I've tried it in black, I've tried it in clear and I liked the clear one better. So I got this one in clear as well and I'm really excited about it. It's about to be spring here. Um, it's warming up. I'm starting to show my legs more. So I got a big bottle of Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer for fair to medium skin tones. I just saw that it was on sale. Oh, speaking of, I'm such an idiot. I didn't tell you the price of the lash glue. So the Kiss Lash Couture Adhesive is usually $5.99 and it was on sale for $4.79. So only $1.20 off. And this is normally $12.99 and it was on sale for $10.39. So only a couple of dollars off essentially, but I definitely was gonna buy this regardless. This next item I am so excited about. I've always wanted to try Wet n Wild highlighters. This one is in the shade Blossom Glow and it says it's new. I don't know how new it is but it does look like it has kind of a really nice light pink sheen to it and I'm so excited I think it's kind of more fun if I like don't look and I just pick things up Ooh, okay this one I'm excited about too this is the L'Oreal voluminous white primer you put it on before your mascara it's literally for volumizing your lashes which I need really bad so I figured I would give this a shot this one is normally $7.99 and it was on sale for four dollars so this was like 50% off this is actually a repurchase this is the it cosmetics airbrush perfecting powder it is my favorite pressed powder I have ever tried in my life and it's funny because I kind of stopped setting my face with powder but I'll still use this to like blend out my bronzer even if I don't put any face powder on this is normally $35 but it was on sale for $17 50. I cannot believe this is half off. Of course I had to pick this up. I have wanted to try this mascara for so long. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I don't know what makes it 4-in-1 and it does not explain. This one is normally $23. It was on sale for $11. That is more than 50% off. I can't believe this is originally $23 though. So now if I fall in love with it, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Okay, you guys, whoo, I am so excited about this one. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I got it in porcelain because that was the lightest shade and I don't mess around, I always get the lightest shade. It's normally $44 and it was on sale for $26. So for a high-end Becca foundation, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to try it. I have to just open this right now. I've been so curious to like look at this in person. Oh, it's like frosted glass. It says shake well before use. Um, I'm gonna wait until I'm about to use it to shake it, I guess, I don't know. Oh, what? I bet I look like such a noob right now. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to like look up how to use this. We're just gonna put this back in here for the moment. I had extra incentive to buy this actually because you got this Becca Prep and Set Brightening Kit for $5 if you bought a Becca foundation. Of course, I'm gonna buy a $26 Becca foundation that's usually 44, get a $5 brightening kit, which includes their First Light Priming Filter, which I've heard amazing things about, as well as their um, Soft Light Blurring Powder. It's in Golden Hour. That might be too dark for me. If anything, I can use it for my makeup kit. These are both just for my makeup kit, uh, just lashes. I have little individual trios for people who like the more natural look. And then I have Ardell Wispies for people who still like a natural look, but still a little bit more oomph. And you guys know the Ardell Wispies are like my holy grail lashes. So 
stock up on those any chance that I get. In fact, I, didn't I get two? Oh, I got the Demi Wispies as well. I wanna say the Ardell lashes were on sale, like buy one, get one 50% off or something. Yeah, so they're normally $11.99. So I got one pack for $11.99 and the second pack I got for $6. And then the little Kiss individual trios are usually $4.99 and they were on sale for $3.99. So only $1 off, but I use these in my makeup kit. So any sale is better than no sale. Okay, I can't not talk about this any longer. I didn't even know it came with a little eye primer. That is so exciting. I don't know why I've always wanted this palette so damn bad. Every single time I'm in Ulta, this palette speaks to me. This is the Lorac Pro palette. This was on sale for $26 when it's usually $44. So I was like, it's fate. And there's a the little eye primer that it came with. Oh my gosh. That was just a little insert. Here she is. It doesn't look like anything spectacular. That's why I keep thinking like, why did I need this palette so bad? I think what really drew it to me is it has a very great selection of transition shades. All of these look totally usable, wearable. There's a white and a black, which I love. I don't know. I just, I just love this palette. I've always wanted it. I cannot wait to add this to my collection. So I did take advantage of like how cheap Essence is. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. It's called Satin Love. It has the cutest little design in it. The color was just like speaking to me. And I went into the sale knowing I wanted at least one new blush anyway. I just knew I wanted to give some Essence stuff a try, but it was definitely like buy one, get one because this one is usually $2.99 and I bought this for $2.99, it was full price. So this was one of the more expensive, uh, not elf, essence items that I bought and it was still only $3 full price. So something else I picked up from Essence and I'm so glad I did. This mascara is so cute. It had amazing ratings, which is what ended up selling it for me. I was actually going to pick up like a different higher end mascara, but this one had such great ratings that I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this one instead. This mascara is only $4.99, paid full price for this because it was one of the more expensive Essence items and it's adorable. So yeah, I'm so excited to try this. Something else I got from Essence is their Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I got it in Blondie Brows, so their blonde color looks like this. So I picked this up also because it had really good ratings and I just ran out of my eyebrow gel stuff. I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I got a couple items from Flower Beauty as well and I don't have anything from Flower Beauty and I've been dying to try this brand for so long. Ever since I found out it was Drew Barrymore's brand, I was like, take all my money. This is a mix and matte lip duo. So it says two finishes, infinite looks. You can just use the matte side or you can use the gloss side or both. This color, I think it was called like Honey Love or something. Oh, Honey Nude. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm just so excited to give this a shot. I love the idea of like the combo. And I got something else from Flower Beauty as well. Yes, yes, yes. This is just one of their regular lipsticks. And yeah, I got red. I got the shade Poppy Pout 100. I never choose reds, but I figure I might as well just put the lipstick to the true test. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I was gonna get a Flower Beauty liner, but I ended up getting a Wet n Wild red liner instead because these were on sale. I picked up three of the Wet n Wild, that one's open, lip liners. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The Flower Beauty Mix and Matte Lip Duo in Honey Nude was $9.99 and I actually paid full price for this. The Flower Beauty sale was buy one, get one 50% off. So then I bought the Petal Pout lipstick for $4 when it's usually $7.99. I really wanna try their makeup sponge and I was looking at their blushes too. They looked so pretty. Moving on to the Wet n Wild uh, lip liners. I got the shade Red the Scene and I got Gone Burgundy and Sand Nudes. These are their new gel lip liners. So I was really excited to give these a shot. They're $2.99 a piece usually. I got two of them for $1.50. So they also must have been having like a buy one, get one sort of deal. There's a lot of other lip liners in here. I think they're all Essence. I was very short on lip liners. Like that's been something I've been meaning to buy for so long. These are the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liners. The shades are 06 Under My Skin, 07 Lost in Love, 08 Big Proposal, 09 Going Steady, and 11 Sucker for Gray. These look like good staple colors that I needed in my collection. Hell yeah. Another thing I picked up from Wet n Wild is their Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner. That's what I like in my life. I like really, really skinny applicators. So hopefully this does the trick. And I did buy this one at full price as well, $4.99. I think this might've been the one thing that I bought that wasn't on sale. I thought everything I got was on sale, but it looks like this one slipped through the cracks. I've been hearing everybody rave about this foundation. It's the new L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I got the shade, 
I don't really know what the shade is unless it's 400. Oh yeah, 400 pearl. It's very small right there, but we got there. Okay, it looks like it might match me close enough. It's not gonna be a huge deal if it doesn't work for me because it was only $14.99. I think 15 is a good price for a good drugstore foundation. Hopefully it's good. I've never tried these before, but I'm really, really excited to. They're the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Cleansing Cloth for a quick daily cleanse of your brushes. You can just like rub them on these cloths. And I understand foundation brushes needing a little more of a deep cleanse before being used again, but just for like eyeshadow brushes, I think this could be perfect. I already used their like brush cleaner too, like the liquid soap brush cleaner, and I love it. So I figured why not give these a try, especially since they were, oh, these weren't on sale. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Well, these weren't specifically on sale, but EcoTools was doing a buy one, get one 50% off as well. So I got this for $7.99, full price. Their brush cleaner that I totally forgot that I picked up, a great thing because I was almost out of this. This is my favorite brush shampoo ever. It smells so good and it just does such a good job. So yeah, I got this for $4 instead of $7.99. So I got this half off because I purchased this. I'm so down with that. This is a lip and cheek color stick. It's by Ulta Beauty. Ulta was doing a buy two, get two free sale. So I kind of had to go through all of the Ulta Beauty section to even find like four things that I wanted. So this little guy was $10, which I paid full price for, but like I said, it was buy two, get two free. So then I paid $10 for this mascara guard, also by Ulta Beauty, obviously that's the sale. I got a little cheap one from eBay before and it worked out, but it was light pink and like it just got black mascara all over it and it looked nasty. So it was $20, but I also got a lash placement tool. I think this tool will make my life just so much easier for clients. So that's normally $10 and I got it for free. The last thing I got was this oil-free eye makeup remover. I used to use an oil-free eye makeup remover from the brand Mary Kay and I freaking loved it. I have been trying to find another one that kind of compares to it. I never tried this before, but I'm hoping this kind of does a similar job. I tried my cellar waters. I haven't tried the Bioderma, which I really want to. This was just convenient because I was already placing an order at Ulta. And yeah, I just figured I would give this a shot. So fingers crossed that this works and like removes my makeup really nicely. It's getting a little messy back here. We're almost done. This is a very random item. This is the Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. It's an advanced anti-aging moisturizer. I am 25, so I'm obviously not quite into like anti-aging skincare or anything like that quite yet. But you know, you can never start too early if you don't want wrinkles, you know what I mean? This had a ridiculous amount of amazing reviews on Ulta and I've been looking for like a new moisturizer because I'm almost out of the one that I always use, which is literally just like a less than $10 St. Ives one. So I wanted to up my game a little bit. It's usually $28.99 and it was on sale for $14.50. So obviously this is the perfect time for me to try it. For some reason I thought this was gonna be like a huge container. This thing is tiny. It does only say 1.7 ounces. So like all I have to do is look at that and know that it's gonna be kind of small. But yeah, I'm still really excited to try that. And then I got one other skincare item. It also had amazing reviews. This was not on sale. This is $29.99. It's a microdermabrasion scrub. So essentially an exfoliant facial it's by the brand Derma E, Derma Essentials, I guess. This must have had really amazing reviews to convince me because I don't think I would have spent $30 on this otherwise. I'll keep you updated. So the last items in the box are four brushes by Essence. I actually just added it up and I spent $7 on these four brushes. Got an eye blender brush, a bronzer brush, a precise eyeliner brush, and a smoky eyes brush, aka a blending brush. The packaging is so adorable. I love the little font on the brushes themselves. And then they just look really nice and soft. So I'm just so excited to try these. Two of those brushes I got for $1. Oh, three of the brushes I got for $1. One of them I spent $4 on. So I'm so excited to try all of my goodies. And I spent under $300, which for me is really hard to do when I go to Ulta to pick up five things. So I feel like I scored. If you still can take advantage of the sale, you definitely should go do that. I will definitely let you guys know my first impressions in my next video. I'm so excited now to do my makeup with all these new products. Let me know what you guys are excited for me to try down below or what you guys picked up during the Ulta sale. Anything that you've tried here that you like or don't like, 
leave me all your comments and opinions and everything you could possibly want to say down below. I cannot wait to hear from you guys. It has been way too long. I think that's going to be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!